to be able to count everybody before we start, yeah. In fact, if you put two hands up, I can count twice as fast. It's very good. Now you exercise your fingers like this, gets out all the E numbers. Good. Close your hand into a fist like this. Wave your hand over the top. Under the bottom. Over the top. Under the bottom. Under the bottom. Over the top. Are we all there? This has got nothing to do with the magic show, but it's great from up here. Okay. What you do now is you snap your fingers, reach inside, and if you can find in there a little red hanky, it means you're a magician. Nobody found a little red hanky. Well, that's a pity, because you see, that means I'm the only magician here today, and I get to perform all the magic tricks. So what you do is you hold the bottle of the palm of your hand like this, you hold the tube like this, you cross your arms like this, and you bend your knees like this. Very good. And then you unfold like that. Ready? Why are we doing this, Declan? Because everybody has to see the tube and the bottle, the bottle and the tube. And also, it's the only exercise I get nowadays. Just line me up a little bit like this. And then he stuck in the needle like that. And straight out the far side like that. Now, what happened then was he pulled the big red thread right through me like this. Now, I didn't go bang, did I? I went to visit my grandmother one day and I was passing by this shop and in the window with these beautiful coloured headscarves. And I went into the young lady behind the counter and I said, young lady behind the counter, because I didn't know her name, I said, I'd like something nice for my grandmother. It's her birthday. And she said, well, we have these beautiful headscarves. But she said, there's a sale on at the moment. And she said, if you buy all four colours that we sell, we will put them in a presentation tube and gift wrap it for you. I thought, fantastic. So, presentation tube, the yellow handkerchief. Now, the young lady poked it into the tube like this, so artistically, because I'm not very artistic, I can't do these things. And she poked them in in colours that were complementary towards each other like this. Again, this is something I wouldn't do. I just stick them in any old way. But she was very, very delicate. And she poked them in like that. And she had all the colours placed inside. Now, having done that, she said, I will gift wrap it for you in this beautiful gold paper. So she took the gold paper and she wrapped it around the tube like this. And she sent me on my way to visit my grandma. Well, when I arrived at grandmother's, I said, this is your gift. Oh, she was so pleased just to get a gift from me. And she unwrapped it and she said, Oh, Pat, she said, this is so wonderful. How did you know I wanted a beautiful shawl to go around my shoulders for the long winter evenings? And I was in a bit of a fix because, well, I hadn't bought her a shawl, had I? I bought her four headscarves. And I thought, well, if I can do magic today, to please my grandmother, that's what will be important. So I said, can I take the tube a moment, Grandma? I want to show you my favourite thing in the world. <sighs> and it came down in this beautiful four-coloured shawl. And I placed it around her shoulder. 